too bad. Christmas, there's 40 grand Sorry, guys. Boxes. So, the second part, we're down in the basement. And I'll flip around. So, we just came down. <laughs> he has these awesome shelves. Aren't they great? Okay, so he's got about 60 of those. For somebody who's looking to redo their warehouse. Well, that's what these are. Right? Yeah, they're U-line stackables. You don't even know what's in the boxes. Nobody even looked. <laughs> Saddam and his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> the picture you won't see too much of. Yeah. <laughs> I found him. How much is he worth? And this room here, it's all van equipment stuff. Cars. Van equipment, yeah. So there's obviously, yeah, I see it. I think there's toys or something in some of these crates to the right. Yeah, see more books, a few VHS, some CDs. Huh. Boxes, toy diecast cars. Huh, cool. Our toys. Toys and stuff. Neat. Bugs Bunny. More stoof. You might not like the Minotaur to come out and find us. Some cool vases. Whoa. Hey, how you doing? That room right there has one of guitars and stuff, I think. Oh, cool. go ahead back there. This way. There you go. Exploring, guys. Exploring. If I don't come out, send help. Stands for band stands. Not sure what these are. Lighting something lighting. Artemide. Artemide. Made in Italy. Artemide. Human light. So these round like metal things here. Kind of cool. Yeah. Oh, there's definitely something in that. This one feels like it is empty. That one might have something in it. Do you want to look, guys? But, uh, empty. Here's Christmas bulbs. All of this is Christmas. He says all of this over here is Christmas. Oh, moly. The kitchen. You know, when I was building nightclubs, like all those amplifiers, they're big money. All floor mats for cars. <laughs> I don't need them anymore. There's more Christmas. Floor mats. Ice cream scooper refrigerator freezer. These are demagnetizing specialists. Yeah. The glasses cable. All these are. This stuff. Interesting. I have a hard time using a hammer and nails. Cooler. Power box. Yeah, there's tools in here. There's uh, lasers, there's transits, there's all kinds of shit in these boxes. Yeah, there's all kinds of crazy stuff. But this board here, I know, is worth some good money. The 
concert for yep. for nails. So gummy ball All machines. The on the far side, those are like this giant stadium. Uh huh. You know, that's big stuff. This is a, a board for concerts. Oh, that? Yeah, it's like a 60 channel board. Yeah, I'll look at that. I'll walk through there in a second. I was just trying to get over there. Holy cow, there's a bunch. Power washer. You need a lot of this restaurant stuff. It's all brand new, and I don't even know what he's got outside in the trailers. It's loaded. Yeah, we walked out there. I looked around outside. Some computers. More. Oh, you didn't see the computers on the other side. <laughs> Somebody will take them and scrap them for, for Yeah. The lights on down here. That's okay. I have. Yeah, here's a light. These here, these are like lights for like giant stadiums. Uh -huh. These are big, all computerized, and the crates are here with all the flies and everything. Yeah. Outer box display. Yeah, they're all computerized. You know, you got to <laughs> create a show on a computer and then it does not Mitsubishi, yeah, Mitsubishi lighting. You know, to buy those, forget it. Let's say. I don't even know what kind of price right you're on the back one. This, this one, electric. the Mitsubishi Electric, you can see this one right here on the back. Yeah. I even think there's transport cases here for the Mitsubishi mm -hmm. 2 Electric. There you guys go. Way above my pay grade. Yeah, our speakers. More flatware. <laughs> this is all this piece of lighting right here. Yeah. You know, all reset. So will you go home tonight and slow mo the thing on replay? Yeah, I'll I'll look at it in slow mo and I'll probably watch it with a buddy of mine that knows about like the tools and watch your head. a lot of that type of stuff. That's brand new pool cleaners. That's I'm primarily new. like antiques, collectibles, vintage toys, cards, comics, you know, the Hummels. That type of stuff, but there's a lot of variants here. More saves. More saves. <laughs> it's safe to say they're probably all empty. You opened any of these up, Jason, and found like a million bucks yet? No. More shady twenty two inch rims. So uh -huh. Look at all the bins. Pam's going to be excited about looking at all the bins. Look at the power wheels for you, Mark. Yep. Put those rims on that. <laughs> what do you think these AMG rims are worth? What? Yeah, those are four nice. There's four? There's a set of four? Nice. By tens. These transformers right here, I got to buy one right now. It's like 7000 but the one I need is a little bigger than these. Oh, uh, they're expensive. Those are transformers. They take high voltage and convert it to 110. Wow. Yeah, there's no way of knowing. And it goes back beyond the equipment. That's perfect pawn. That's cool. And that that's, looks like a jewelry cleaner. No, that's an autoclave. They use that in like doctor's offices for oh, sterilization. Yeah, sterilizing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's no way of even knowing what's in these things. It's just so much shit. Wow. Like there's brand new DVRs and boxes with all the cameras. Bitmain. I wonder if those are 
Yeah, there's from, some machines here for it too. For mining Bitcoin. Yeah, they are. They're here. Brand new Bluetooth entertainment system. Yep. I wonder if Rory is still doing. There's Bitcoin computers mining. that go with these. Yeah, yeah I saw like uh, the the towers out there. No, 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 no. There's, there's Bitcoin laptops or something here for those. Oh, Bitmain laptops. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Can you imagine turning one of these on? It's loaded with like $10 million. <laughs> yeah, a Bitcoin. You don't know. No. I had a guy that used to work for me, and we had talked to one time about investing 30000 bucks into... Yeah, when it was nothing? Yeah, when it was... Everybody laughed? Yeah, like Bitcoin yeah. was maybe $6 a coin yeah. or something. And yeah. I was like, yeah. I was like, look, I said, you go out and find the computers... We can get six dollars a coin. You know, it takes us what three days to mine one with one computer. Yeah. You know, I'm interested. Like let's let's doors, figure it out. These doors are thirteen hundred dollars a piece. I gotta buy them. They're the wrong size for me. Otherwise, I would have taken them. Oh, those metal doors. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Safety door. Bucks yeah. a piece. I know who might need some of this stuff. Victory House. Yeah. My my buddy runs the the veterans home in Bethlehem. Yeah. So they need a lot of that stuff. <laughs> I found the thinnest piece of wire that I need. Those guys. Paint mixer. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's all. Like some of the equipment looks like brand new. Oh. I'm gonna have to show this to David when I get back to the house tonight. Okay, so this is basement. This is the basement. Okay, that's, that's the, basement. the basement, guys. So I'm gonna pause and we're gonna go upward. Third floor. We're going to the third floor now. I mean, how do you do that? Like, how do you open? Some of those safes are huge. I mean, you literally get to hire a safe cracker to come out here for like a week. Come over here, right? Didn't you and Scott have one of those at one time? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bright tea. <laughs> yeah, that's their their yeah. pawn shop or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll have to. Yeah, that company went out of business. At the blurry it. Yep. Scales. And I don't even know what's up in there. We'll go up back in there. There's stuff back in there. Oh, too. this is paperwork. No, I think there's stuff up there. Like that's right there is a copy of it. It's all it's all paperwork. paperwork. Yeah, I see papers. Is that it's a brand new copy of there to your left? No. Nah, in that box? Oh. Yeah, that could be. Yeah, that's heavy enough, unless it's paper. Uh, wow. Okay, Stuff. just so you know, it's minus one quick brick plan. And it's a little <laughs> jump pack if it works. <laughs> and, and a jump and carry. <laughs> yeah, jump for cables. Hey, that's, that's a neat... Can we see apartment? I don't even know what's in there. Got it. Is there a light switch out there? I don't see one. What do we look for? Ooh. Well, yeah, there's all kinds of toys. Look at this. Oh, there it is. safe and it's open which means you can change the lock uh, yeah. yeah he said there was a bunch that you haven't even got into yet yeah <laughs> and then there was a thing here with all these little metal cars i don't know if they're right here
Yeah. But it's all going to go. Yeah. Kitty car classics. All right. Straight ahead. Something by here, and then we'll go, then we're going upstairs. Okay. All right. To go upstairs, we're going right up there. Yeah. It's missing this trip. Yeah. It's a shame. Only $3,200 negotiable. Oh, that's cool. All right, now gallery. Got puppy. It's the fixtures and old tools and cabinets and it's Babe Roof. That's cool, that Budweiser, U.S. Marine Corps. It's pretty neat. Oh, ship. You see the big carved thing on the right? Back behind us? Yep. How many hours have you come over here and just like walked around? <laughs> Here's the orange chairs. There's another one of those desks. Chairs look really comfy though. This is awesome. Yep. This carved piece with these fish. So you guys let me know what you think. Check out this awesome table, this round table. Again, all 3D carved wood underneath. It's crazy. The base to it. Look at that mirror over there. Yeah, so those tables kind of match this. Wow. I think the hardest part about this deal, Mark, mm -hmm. would be where are you going to put it if you don't have a building this big? Like, even condensed, you're going to need at least one of these floors. Yep. I like that MC side court. Yeah, it's a remake, mm -hmm. but it is kind of cool. These chairs are neat. Wow. Well, hey, we can play cards.
Yeah, seems like that. They're hanging up over there, probably. Oh, it could be. So, guys, obviously, if you watched part one, you guys should let me know what you think of this. Obviously, this is a tremendous amount of work. And <coughs> lots of logistics. I'm trying to figure out where to go with everything, where to sell everything, where to store it. You're probably talking 20 guys. I mean... You're talking like 20 people literally to come in and just pack all this glass up, wrap it. Um, probably somebody to go through like all the electronics that has a clue what they're looking at. And be like, okay, this is worth doing something with. This is something that needs to go to auction. Like there is amazing stuff. The cool old guitar. There's some stuff I'm just kind of like, eh. But there is some cool stuff, too. Emperador. Yamaha EG112, first act, another first act, Ibanez, that one's signed by somebody, anybody know who that is? I don't, Lion, Overload, SX, I don't know if any of that's any, anything all that great, but it's stuff. Everything has value to somebody, guys. When I look at a deal like this, you know, it's my mind goes to a million places. Like, oh, some of these speakers could be thousands. Yeah, those some of these instruments could be hundreds. You know, and you start adding up how many of those items there are. You know, it's it's big dollars, but then the logical part of me says, how are you gonna do all of this? How much would it cost in labor? Keyboards and everything. Yeah, more keyboards back there. All in the boxes. Those are over there. No. They might be the ones that are over there, though. In just cases or stands on them. It's kind of neat. Say what? Which one? Yeah, I don't think that's one there, though. Might be something else that says eBay. Hey, we can go skiing. Skis. Tennis or pickleball rackets. For some odd reason, pickleball is very popular right now. That's where I'm supposed to be at. Pickleball? Yep. Really? Yeah, I was supposed to be there at 6 o'clock. You're a pickleballer? There is a bunch of stuff. Let me tell you. Bicycles. Yeah, Fuji. Rebo RC. That's a nice there. Mongoose. Yeah, that is pretty cool. 1984. Yeah, Randy Owens. Number 90 of 99. Kind of neat.
some beautiful furniture. I mean, if you had a way to get, you know, to move it or a full crew, like if you could afford the trucks and the crew to pack it all. You're right though, Mark. There's a lot of like cool stuff. Oh yeah. For those of you who don't know, Mark is one of the guys that always brings me deals and picks up here in Pennsylvania for us and runs across lots of cool stuff. Some of my eyes and ears in Pennsylvania other than Pam. <laughs> Sends me pictures from yard sales, all kinds of neat stuff. The face, yeah. <laughs> like this. Yeah. There, but... There's toys over there. Some like Aboriginal bracelets and stuff. Some creepy dolls that come alive at night. Oh, Kazuntat! Incline duffel bag. Another incline duffel bag. Got some sneakers. Men's red knife. Combination wild card cards. Invincible. Skull oh, and roses. Yeah, Ed Hardy. It's perfume. Cherry Coke truck. That's cool. Some more toys. Disney figure. Some purses. All kinds of neat items. And obviously, guys, we are just scamming and skinning through. Not scamming, but skimming. This right here? Skimming through. LCD monitor that you could fit like 80 different people in one for like a big Zoom meeting and all kinds of. Oh, really? Brand new in the box. It's short. It's like, I forget how much. Oh, look at that thing, guys. Huge Look at inches. this thing. What was this, like four grand new? Oh, who knows? Yeah, it's crazy. PNC 805B. It's like David's TV he just got. Oh, these are nice pictures. And again, guys, this is just the third floor. So I showed you guys the basement and the third floor. Six grand. Six grand, that video, that monitor was. Wow. Some beautiful stuff. <clears throat> I am scared to hear his price. Oh, yeah. The golf, golf swing. That's everything up here. That's it. Wow, guys. So that's it. I'm going to uh, go find out a price. I will let you guys know the price when we get back in the car. Let's see what, see how enticing it is. Because there is. Oh. Oh. So you guys comment below what you think the price is going to be. And we will let you guys know once we get into the car. But I want you to pause right here in the video. Go down in the comments and tell me what price you think everything in this building would be. And be conservative. but And realize there's thirty to $50,000 in labor and moving trucks and wrapping. So... It's it's amazing stuff, like some of the carved pieces and the, the butter churn and some of the stuff is amazing. So, hope you guys enjoy the videos. And like I said, pause here, comment below what you think the price is going to be for everything in the building. Okay, we'll talk to you in just a few minutes. 
Okay, guys, I'm going to start my car up. Sorry. Um, so, we just kind of talked. I am going to make sure my radio's down. Ooh. You guys don't get to see me. You don't get to see me. Hang on. Okay, so I just finished talking to the gentleman. Um, he's kind of looking in the fifty to $60,000 range for everything. It's actually not too bad. Um, if you're in the area and you saw stuff that you like or, you know, let me know your thoughts. Hopefully you guys did pause the video a few minutes ago and put down in the comments what you think the price is going to be for everything. Um, they will take care of getting rid of all the safes. I wouldn't have to do that. The five containers outside would be included. But like I said, he's looking for fifty to 60000 somewhere in that neighborhood. I'm sure that's negotiable a little bit. But there's a lot of effort and a lot of labor. And where the hell do you put 25,000 square feet worth of stuff? I mean, obviously you can condense it and it probably would fill a 5,000 square foot warehouse. But where do you have a 5,000 square foot warehouse? Mine's all full. What do I do, guys? You let me know what you think. I appreciate it. I hope you guys really like this. It's like the biggest storage unit you're ever going to see. Hope everybody has a great weekend and great holiday. Thanks for watching.